Hello everyone. I hope that you're having a good summer holiday and I wonder what you've been up to in recent days. Almost every day when the weather was good, I have been having a walk down beside the beach, down at the seashore. And I do like to be beside the seaside. I like it when the tide is in and the sea is calm and the waves are gently lapping onto the seashore. It's very relaxing. And I wonder what it would be like to be out in a boat when the sea is calm, out in the middle of the ocean. Of course, the sea isn't always calm. Sometimes the waves are wild and they're pounding onto the seashore and the, 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 the wind is roaring. And I'm sure that I wouldn't like to be out in a boat on the sea when there's a big storm. I have a story about someone who is out on the sea in a boat when there's a big storm. And this is a story from the Bible and it's called Jonah and the Whale. But maybe more correctly, the story should be called Jonah and the Big Fish. It's a story about a man called Jonah. And God tells Jonah to go to a city and to give the people there a message from him. Now, you would think that if God gave you a message, if he told you to go and give a message to someone, um, you'd be off straight away to do that, wouldn't you? But not Jonah. He had other ideas. And if you're sitting comfortably, we'll begin. Once upon a time, God said to Jonah, I want you to go to the city of Nineveh and warn the people there that I have seen how badly they behave. Me, cried Jonah. He imagined himself giving such a message. The people there were so wicked that they would probably beat him up or even kill him. So Jonah ran away from God. He found a ship that was going to a place called Tarshish, which was in the opposite direction to Nineveh. The very thing, thought Jonah. So he paid his fare and went aboard the ship, and the ship sailed off. However, suddenly a great storm blew up. The sailors were terrified. They thought that the ship might break up because of the big waves which beat down upon the boat. They threw the cargo overboard into the sea to lighten the load. But Jonah, well, Jonah was fast asleep below deck. The captain came to him and said, How can you sleep, Jonah? Wake up, we're all in great danger. Get up and pray to your God, maybe he will save us. The sailors cast lots to see who was responsible, whose fault it was that they had been caught in such a great storm. And they thought, well, it must be Jonah's fault. They asked him all sorts of questions to see why this was happening to them. Jonah said, I believe in the God who made the sea and the land, and I was trying to run away from God. Jonah said, the only thing you can do now is to throw me overboard and then the sea will become calm. But the sailors tried to row back to land, but the sea continued to grow more and more wild. Eventually, there was nothing else to do but pick Jonah up and throw him into the sea. Immediately, the sea became calm. And just as Jonah was beginning to sink under the waves, a huge fish, like a whale, came and swallowed him up with one big gulp. And there Jonah stayed, in the belly of the fish, for three days and three nights. And while he was in the belly of the fish, Jonah had time to think. It was like a little time out. And he realised how silly he had been trying to run away from God. So after three days and three nights, the fish spewed Jonah onto the beach. And as Jonah blinked in the sunlight and took in great breaths of fresh air, God spoke to him again and said, OK, Jonah, this time go to Nineveh and give the people there my message. And this time, Jonah couldn't get there fast enough. And so he told the people of Nineveh that God had seen their bad behaviour and that they had better behave. To Jonah's surprise, all the people believed him. And then they took him to the king. 
The king believed Jonah's message too and ordered everyone to pray to God and tell God how sorry they were for their bad behaviour. And so God forgave them all. Now you would think that Jonah would be happy that all the people had believed him and had stopped all their wickedness. But no, Jonah was furious and he said to God, I knew that you would show mercy to the people of Nineveh and that's why I ran away to Tarshish in the first place. I didn't want them to be forgiven. I wanted them punished. I did all this for nothing. Jonah went out of the city of Nineveh and sat down in the desert and sulked. As he sat in the desert, a leafy plant grew up and gave him shade against the hot sun. Jonah was really happy that he had the plant for company and for shade. However, the next day, a worm chewed the plant and it withered away. Jonah was really sad about the plant and felt so sorry for it. Then God spoke to Jonah again. Jonah, you felt so sorry for that plant and you only had it for a day. You were so sad about that plant and you didn't even care for it or take or look after it. So do you understand now why I was concerned about the people of Nineveh, that I care about them and love them? Well, we don't really know how Jonah felt. The Bible doesn't tell us. But hopefully he wasn't angry anymore about the people of Nineveh and he understood why God loved them and cared for them and so that was why God wanted them to stop being mean to each other, to stop fighting with each other or arguing or stealing from each other. Just like Jonah felt sorry for the plant um, that had withered away, God cares for us too. And he wants us to be like healthy plants. I hope that you have a good week and maybe you'll get down to have a walk on the beach beside the seashore. But be careful, look out for any big whales in case they come and swallow you up in one big gulp. Stay safe. God bless.